Hey, learn audio engineering. So what is stereo? Why do we use stereo microphone techniques? And what does stereo mean anyways? Now most music is mixed in stereo. It has a left and a right channel, but not every instrument is recorded that way. So in this video, you'll learn why we use stereo, how stereo recording works, and which instruments are commonly recorded in stereo. Coming up next. Learn audio engineering. to sound goals. So to begin, let's talk about mono recording. What is mono? Well, mono means one. One recording with one microphone onto one channel. When we listen to our headphones or speakers, we are hearing that mono sound in a stereo environment, two speakers. Now we hear most things this way because we as humans have two ears. However, this recording still isn't in stereo because both speakers are putting out the exact same signal. So how is stereo recording any different? Well, stereo comes from the Greek word stereos, which means firm and solid, and has come to be described as three-dimensional. In audio, stereo is most commonly referred to as having two channels with the same source audio. The key difference in stereo being, well, the differences between these two channels. Stereo recording allows you to record something unique to the left speaker and something different for the right speaker. The reason our recording from the first question isn't stereo is because the exact same signal is being played through both the left and the right speaker. The recording is reaching our ears in the same phase, volume, and time. And as a result, we hear that sound as originating directly in front of us. This is similar to how you would hear somebody talking in front of you. But what would happen if they moved over to the right? The voice would become louder in your right ear, and it would also reach the right ear sooner as it's closer to the source of the sound. Now this tells your brain that the sound is coming from your right side. Now stereo works by using this ability to localize sound by detecting differences in amplitude and time of arrival between our two ears. The result is a stereo recording with a three-dimensional image that accurately represents how we would hear that sound if we were in the room. So what makes something stereo? Two versions of the same performance. This can be done with a stereo software synth or with microphones, and preferably you're using two identical microphones that are an equidistance away from the source. Between these two channels that have been hard panned left and right, we get differences in time of arrival and amplitude, which mimics our human ears because we have two ears, so the two microphones recreate the perception of being in that space. If something arrives sooner on the left microphone, it will seem to originate from the left. And this is time of arrival, but the effect will also work similarly with amplitude. If we have a louder signal coming from the right, the sound will appear to be coming from the right of the listener. So why would we choose to record something in stereo? Well, stereo adds a sense of space and realism, which allows us to locate the direction of the sound. And there are some downsides to it. There is a possibility of phase problems when using multiple microphones, and having more equipment means more money as stereo can add up because you need two of the same microphone, two of the same preamp, two of the same EQ and compressor, and yeah, aren't you thankful for plugins? But then there's good old mono. Mono, you really can't go wrong with. There's no phase problems. It's easier to set up. There's less to produce, it's cheaper, and you can just multi-track mono takes and pan them to get a similar stereo effect. The only downsides, on its own, there's no stereo spread, which I guess means a bit less realism. So what instruments are commonly recorded in stereo? Usually these are large instruments or sections of instruments with sources of higher frequencies. And one of the most important distinction is that they're stationary. Things like drum overheads, room microphones, acoustic piano, and choirs, they don't move around. You don't get that shift in the stereo image. Instead you get this large, spacious 3D perception of actually being in the room. And that's all well and good, but what if I only have one microphone? Can I fake stereo? Most instruments are recorded in mono and you can create a stereo effect by double tracking. For some instruments, this is a better method than stereo miking as the performer might move around as they play. This could be a vocalist or a guitar player. So this might cause some unwanted left to right movement, which you'll probably just compress out, won't you? Stereo imaging is about more than just the sound being louder on one side. Because of the space between our ears, 
or the microphones, there'll be a slight time of arrival difference between these two ears. And we can simulate this by slightly delaying the further channel. By delaying the left channel, it will make the sound appear to be coming from the right. And this is known as the Haas effect, which states that delays from around 20 to 40 milliseconds will be perceived as the same sound, only delayed. Here is a quick demonstration of how the Haas effect works to better recreate a stereo image. Here I've got a mono drum sound that I've panned to the right slightly, which sounds okay, but listen to the depth that's added when I use this stereo delay on the left side. Now I've got it set to delay the left channel somewhere in that 20 to 40 millisecond sweet spot. Let's have a listen. Much better. Instead of just moving the sound over to the right, we also get a delayed signal which replicates how the left ear would experience that sound. Longer delay times will result in us perceiving that repeat as a separate sound entirely. So to recap, stereo uses two channels with differences in time of arrival and amplitude to create a three-dimensional stereo image. Mono will not capture this 3D realism because there's only one point of reference. So if you're looking to create a stereo effect with mono tracks, you can double track the performance by playing the part twice and hard panning each recording, but you've really got to nail it both times. And finally, if you're working with a mono track that you've already recorded, you can add some stereo information with the Haas effect. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if you're new. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.